Hello there and welcome to World Limo Biz. Um, uh, this video I'm going to show you how to register your company. Uh, first things first, um, you go to worldlimobiz.com. This page will open up. Click register your company. Okay, first name, you enter this data. This is very important, um, this line here. Uh, your customers will be able to see this username. So just make sure uh, it reflects your company. For example, my company's name is Dynasty Limousine. I'm going to call it Dynasty Limo. Okay, customers will be able to see that. So don't uh, put anything meaningless uh, in here. Company's name, and also it will help for your SEO for search engine optimization. Okay, select your language, password. Password is very important. Uh, just follow these instructions here. Must be at least eight characters uh, long, uh, one uppercase, one lowercase, and a number or a special character. It's very important that you have a secure password since you're going to be storing credit card data. The other thing is uh, make sure you write down your username and password. Uh, uh, most people when they register it takes them to a page where they have to log in and they already forgot. So uh, write down this name and also the password is going to be asked uh, you're going to be asked like that, that later. Um, company's email. Uh, this is where you're going to be getting your notifications uh, when people make reservations. You'll be getting notified here via email. A business phone number. And uh, this is also uh, your cell phone. Uh, when someone makes reservations online, you will get an alert via text message. It tells you, hey, somebody made a reservation. You want to check it out, see what you're going to do with it. So I'm going to keep it the same number. OK, this is your country. Uh, cell phone provider. Uh, this is very important to get, uh, to get you that text message. We need the cell phone prov provider address this is uh, for our admin only so for mostly billing address or if you want to send you any piece of mail or anything like that it's important to select your state because uh, we have a map on the system uh, and it will zoom into your state uh, and the data comes from here. So if you put uh, Iowa, your uh, the the map is gonna go to Iowa when for your customers. If you put in Illinois, uh, the map will go to Illinois. We'll get to that. Okay. So we said remember the password and the username. Okay. Next thing is gonna ask us for a domain name. Domain name is important because your reservation form will have a home button. That home button for your customers, when they click on it, it will go to your domain name, this one. Okay. Now the company is getting registered. Perfect. Now here's the part where it asks us to uh, uh, log in. So we said the username was DNSC, Limo, and the password was my password. And we're going to answer this uh, question here, just to show where humans are trying to enter this reservation, not robots. So this answer will be minus 10. And remember me. Uh, we're going to try to log in. Perfect. Now our, uh, our system is good. We got everything here. Uh, one little tiny problem is... Uh, uh, nothing is set up yet to make reservations or to get reservations. Um, what we have is home, dispatch, calendar, reservation, accounts, all this stuff we're going to get to it. 
but first first things first we need to enter um, we need to uh, uh, get our settings done for the system to work so we click under settings company logo you click here you can upload a logo and the logo will change this okay so there is also a video here that explains how to do that um, so you click on browse it goes to your computer and you upload the logo and that logo will be changed uh, from World Limo Biz it's gonna show your own logo it's very important to change that because your emails and confirmations uh, and reservation forms will show your logo and whatever you upload here um, uh, it will show if you have any problem with that you can also email us your logo and we'll tweak it for you or we'll upload it nice nicely for you okay next thing is uh, time and date format uh, this is just how do you want would you like to show your date um, month first day and year or day month this is a lot of people from overseas if, um, if you're in Europe or something you probably might want to use this and this but in the United States we use this so and it's by default uh, next thing is cars um, Cars is very important. Um, this is how you set up. We're going to just show you how to set up one car here. Also, there is a video that just talks about cars. Uh, I'm going to add a car. Okay, car type. I'm going to say sedan per mile. How much would you charge per mile? That's the question here. If we go in 100 mile, how much would you charge me per mile? Most companies, they charge between $2 to 3 for a sedan. Now let's do $2.50. Uh, car image we have a bunch of cars here if your car doesn't fall in this library send us an email or give us a call and we'll add your car here okay and uh, this is per mile this is how many uh, what's your minimum fare so if somebody asks you to go just one mile how much would you charge them uh, most companies they charge between 25 and 60 70 dollars so here we're gonna put 50 hourly rate that's for charters so I'm gonna put 50 Minimum hour three. Passenger capacity, I will put four. Luggage four. Add a car. This usually usually takes a little bit of time, but, but don't worry about it. It's just trying to print itself to the database. So we're gonna give it a second. okay here's our first car already set now here we can do a little bit more settings if you'd like uh, if your car if you're charging two thousand fifty cents per mile and your minimum fare is fifty fifty dollars you're, you're all set your car is ready to go you'll be shown in your forms where are your forms your forms are right here that's where the customers are gonna see you come to links this are these are the links you put on your website uh, here are the links we give you three links three reservation forms and designs the first one is the one that shows you the map that we talked about see here it's zoom into Illinois and here is my car it's a sedan I only have one car so that's the only car I have uh, your customers will get to fill out this form and uh, they'll see the price and they can book okay but we're not done yet I just wanted to show you uh, the one of the forms the second form is this one this form, uh, it's a, a four-step reservation form. You pick up your location. Let's do it tomorrow. Passenger one, pick up location. For example, an airport. And click next. This is what the customers will see. So here you go. Here, it gave them a price of $60. Um, it already automatically measured the distance from that address to the airport and added 20% gratuity uh, to that price and the total was $60 
and it shows them the car pictures that you uploaded and you select it the customer selects this and he goes to a checkout extras we haven't set, set that up basically stops and car seats and all that but we'll get to it here is the breakdown of the prices perfect so my point is um, if your uh, settings for the car is just mileage then you are good to go uh, for example what if you have like a little bit more complex settings uh, what I'm saying is uh, what if, what if you charge a minimum fare of fifty dollars, but you want to do, for example, uh, things like uh, you want to charge from zero to five, you want to charge fifty dollars. Five to ten, you want to charge a certain amount of money. So that's what you you go here, and you enable this area, and you add new price. Okay. Now I'm going to tell the system from zero to 10 miles, forget that minimum rate and minimum uh, fare and everything, just give me $75, okay? Okay, add new price, uh, let's do from 11 to 20, give me $90. Okay. I'm just showing you so you can design your own prices the way you want, okay? Let's do another one. We set uh, 21 to 30 and do 130 dollars. So basically, here um, you're telling the system. I oh, I messed up. So 21 to 30 to be 130. I hit the wrong button. So this is the button I need to hit. So I'm telling the system, if you see these mileage, forget all the settings. Give me $75 as base price. If you see 11 to 20, forget everything, give me 90. If you see 21 to 30, forget everything, give me 130. Anything above 30, the minimum price will take over. The minimum price, we did $2.50. Somebody's going 100 miles, it will, it will be charged uh, $2.50 per mile. But these are the exceptions. If this is happening, this is the prices you're gonna get. Okay, so let's do a quick, uh, a quick setup here. Let's go to. Uh, let's check. Um, we're gonna do. I know these addresses are about 20 miles. I think 19 to 20 miles. Um, so we're gonna go to make a reservation quickly. So the customers are gonna see. We'll do the first one first. Uh, Forget all that, let's do date tomorrow, 8 p.m. Address. I know this to the airport is about, I think it's about 19 miles. We'll see what it's gonna give us. By the way, these forms you can, uh, we don't have gratuity set up yet, so. See, this form won't let us because we need gratuity first. Let's do uh, the, other for, the other form and their links. Let's do this one. <clears throat> you can choose either form. Um, so it, this has been pre-filled for us. That's good. And let's do next. I know this is about 19 miles. So let's see what it's going to give us. Give us 108. 108 came from a, a base price. Uh, base price was uh, ninety dollars, I think, and twenty dollars, twenty percent included. So let's see the breakdown. Let's click select. It was it's gonna give us the breakdown right now. Here's the breakdown. So it was base price ninety dollar, airport tax zero, gratuity eighteen dollars. Total was one hundred eight. So. $18 is 20% of 90. This second form will give you, a, a de by default, is 20% gratuity. Okay? So then check out where people get to give their credit cards and stuff. So let's go back again. Uh, we have to finish our settings. Now, another thing about your prices. Let's say, let's say uh, we're in their cars, right? You have a little bit more complex pricing. Uh, for example, here you're doing 250 per mile, and we have this mileage settings that talks about uh, that talks about zero to one. Those are exceptions. 
Now let's say between on this between here you have a town that you want to charge more for example so what you do it's called zone exceptions we're gonna go to settings it's by zip code let's say I'm, I'm this is I'm happy with this but if I'm going from the airport to this town forget everything give me one thousand dollars I'm gonna exaggerate just to show you um, I don't want to do that by the way but uh, I'm just gonna show you how this is thing this thing is called zone exception I'm gonna put a couple zones that I know by heart so here you put zip code to this another zip code you select the car and it gives you it'll give you a rate okay now we're gonna set that up first we need to add zip codes because this system doesn't have any zip codes yet so we're gonna add two zip codes so we're gonna put um, zip code 60068 that's our office zip code familiar with that and then we're gonna put a, an airport zip code 60666 that's O'Hare Airport zip code the distance is about I think it's about uh, 12 miles or so but we're gonna tell the system if somebody's going from here to the airport forget everything give me one thousand dollars base fare okay so that's good we have our zip codes let's go back there to zone exception zone exception and we're gonna put I'm going from the airport to this zone on a sedan I want $1,000 forget all the settings I don't care about it. this one calculate reverse rate it will give you a round trip price instead of entering it manually twice with one click here you um, you do the round trip so we're gonna save perfect let's go to settings I think we should do gratuity before we test this form uh, because form number one does not work if there is no gratuity so um, here you can uh, enable or disable gratuity for the form that gives you 20 percent uh, by default um, if you don't want to give if you want to give it zero gratuity you just hit disable but for now we'll keep it uh, enabled but for form one you can give the uh, choices for your customers for example I want to put 10 percent Okay, and another or do twenty percent. That that way the customer gets to choose how much gratuity. That's for form one that shows the map. Form two, it's twenty percent flat or zero. If you click disabled, you don't get any uh, gr gratuity. You put enable, it's twenty percent. That's for form two. Form one, uh, customers will get to see this. Now remember that zone exception thing. Let's go now test that under links. These links are going to be on your website. So we'll test form number one. <coughs> okay, we'll skip all that. Let's just go to date. Tomorrow, 8 p.m. Sedan, passenger one. I'm going to put those addresses that are... And go into ORG airline UA flight one two three. See those gratuity we added. Now the customers get to select which one. Let's do twenty percent, and we're gonna do calculate price. Now you see this zip code from this zip code going to this zip code. It gave us base price of one thousand dollars. Okay, and gratuity total is twelve hundred. This price is exaggerated, but I just want to show you where the prices come from. Okay? So these should be just exceptions. For example, there is a, a town that you don't want to go to. It's a little trafficy. There is no highway. You want to charge a little bit more. I would, I would use zone exception for that. But, but the best thing is just try not to complicate things. Uh, let's try the second form. By the way, the, the third form is just the same thing, but without, uh, without the header. Let me show you. It's just the same form. Uh, some people want to use it as an iframe, so it doesn't have the top logos and stuff. It just goes straight to the point. Uh, okay, now let's check it with the other form. Um, I'm using the form number two here with the logo and everything. Um, I'm going to put the same addresses. Uh, two. Uh, 
and we're gonna go to ORD and we're gonna hit next okay so again base fare is one thousand dollars two hundred dollar gratuity let's see that let's see the breakdown picture and here's the breakdown perfect uh, okay let's go back to our settings and and this concludes our, our your prices and car settings uh, gratuity we've done that airport tax now if your uh, city charges you uh, from pickups from the airport what you can do here you can uh, and you want to add that to the price to your customers you can do that here uh, let's say in Chicago they charge four dollars for every pickup it's gonna do four dollars uh, enable a Portex yes and this is if you want to show uh, for example you guys have a lot of a lot of tolls in your city and you want to tell the people hey these prices do not include tolls at the end of the, the reservation uh, you click yes and there is there'll be a message that tells them this is the prices without this is our price without tolls here I'm gonna keep it no so we have four dollar tax so for every reservation we're gonna see that uh, later on let's continue the settings custom charges this is a very 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 important uh, field a lot of companies they have different charges besides gratuity uh, these chargers are stuff that you use for example I want to use fuel surcharge so I'm going to change the name of custom charge I'm going to call it fuel and I'm going to say five here it asks you is it a percentage or five dollars fixed I'm going to put percentage five percent and would you like to use this custom charge yes I would like to uh, second custom charge let's do for example tax uh, most cities don't charge tax for uh, car service but usually for example you can call it anything yeah some people call it administration fees it's all kinds of stuff you can use but this is gonna be hundred percent of the time so every single reservation will have this these uh, fields if you wanna keep it no you just keep it no and you're good to go but I wanna use taxes here I'm gonna put ten percent ten percent tax once again, this is a percentage, this is fixed. If you want it to be $10, you hit fi fixed, then it'll be $10 extra. Okay, car seat charges. Uh, do you offer car seats? Yes. Is it fixed rate? Yes, usually mostly. Let's do $20. But these are not customized, these stays. So if you change the name here, it will not affect anything. You're still gonna see child seat. These two, when you change the name, because they're custom charges, you can change the name. Uh, tra child car, car, car seats are they're, they're gonna stick there no matter what the gate meat charges do you charge gate meat yes I do charge gate meat it will be a choice for customers to add uh, is it a percentage is it fixed I would say fix I'll add another twenty dollars put 25 to keep it different from uh, from this so you guys get to see it St stops uh, do you use extra stops yes uh, ex extra stop charges is it fixed yes it's fixed I charge ten dollars extra stops this is a hidden fee if you want it's like taxis they this this fee will be added to the base price but um, it, it won't show anywhere for example you wanted to add the five dollars that will be added up to the base price uh, it's just like taxis like as soon as you get in the meter it's already three dollars and then the meter starts counting after that um, nobody's really using that except a few but I would not recommend it but you can always use it if you want to test it and try it so I, I, I don't want to use that so I'm gonna save these charges and now let's go to our form let's see what our customers will see after this so I'm gonna go to uh, our links these links are again what you should put on your website I'm gonna take the first form number two okay we're gonna do to the airport I would change this to a more regular address. Okay. We go into O'Hare, UA, 8 p.m. 
passenger just one and let's see this is for 11 let's go okay you have one car but if you have let's say 10 cars they will all be listed here we'll give them a choice so let's do select now here's the breakdown of your prices base price $90 airport tax zero uh, fuel surcharge 4, gratuity 18. Uh, airport tax is 0 because uh, the pickup location was not the airport. If the pickup location was an airport, you would see $4 here. Okay? And here are your baby car seats. Would you like the car seat? Yes. If you click here, you will be added up. The stops, let's do, I'm going to do a car seat and I want to do a, a one stop. Where is the stop? I'm going to put 600 north. Okay. That's it. Continue to check out. Your prices are all good. Very nice. They fill out all this information. And once they hit book now, you will get a text message on your phone and also an email on your email box provided. Um, let me show you the airport tax. Let's go back. Let's just go back and change the pickup. Make it, um, make it an airport instead. So we're going to do here from the airport. We're going to do ORD. Since it is an airport. UA123. And we're going to go to 500 North Michigan. There we go. Next. Okay. It's calculating the price and we're going to select this car. By the way, you're going to have a lots of cars, just not, not just one. Um, here is my airport fee, $4 ex extra. So, okay. That will, uh, <coughs> let's go back to our settings. So now we, that's the main setting part, which is those custom charges. It's the main thing. Uh, drivers, definitely need drivers if you want to dispatch, right? Uh, I'm going to add a driver. Okay, first add a driver. We're going to call it Tim Smith. Email. Tim Smith. Email is important because the driver, every time you dispatch to him, he will get that. He will get a, an email. Uh, he'll get that trip on email. Address for your own record. You don't really need it to dispatch or anything. Cell phone, you need it because he will be getting the text message as well as an email. So we're going to put him. Um, okay. And cell phone provider, US seller, for example. Home phone, car type is important. Sedan, license plate, one, two, three, four, five. Driver's license, that's for your own record. Car color is black. I'll tell you why, why this is important. And GPS link, we're going to talk about this uh, later. Total fare. Total fare is uh, how much you pay your driver for each trip. I usually I'm going to give him 40%. How much gratuity I give him? I give him full gratuity, which is 100%. Do I give him the airport fee? No, I don't give it to him. I pay for it. Okay. Fuel surcharge, do I give it to him? No, I don't give it to him. If you give him the fuel surcharge back, then you give him 100%. If not, just keep it zero. Tax, do they get any money from the tax? No, they don't. And we're going to add a driver. Uh, why this car type is important, license plate, black, because this information, you, will ha you, ca you can send it to the customer. Let's say your customer is coming down from a building that has three or five sedans waiting. He doesn't have to ask every, cust every driver, are you my driver? He can just go to this license plate and just get in the car. Uh, it's very smart way to do it. So we're going to add Tim as a driver. So we have a driver now, which is good. We can give him some jobs. Um, next thing, per passenger price. If you want to charge, for example, you have your sedan takes three passengers and you want to charge five dollars extra per extra passengers. What you can do is you go here. I do not recommend this practice, but uh, you can actually, for the second passenger, you want to add $5. Third passenger, you want to add, third passenger becomes $10. Fourth passenger becomes $15, and so forth. Uh, I do not recommend it, so I'm not going to save it. But you can do it if your business actually 
gives it zone exceptions we talked about that affiliates affiliates you can add the companies that you work with here so I'm gonna add a company I'm gonna call it affiliate affiliate one this is the email info at affiliate one dot com phone number and fax all this information great address one two three north okay add affiliate now we have that email the email is the most important thing in here under the affiliate because uh, every time you farm out a job he they will get it on this email so this is the most important part of affiliates uh, if you need affiliates also this is very important you can actually look on affiliates here uh, in this icon here you can see affiliates that are using our system and for example you select these guys it tells it gives you their website we don't need their website we need to add affiliates once we click here and add an affiliate request sent successfully now when this company accepts your affiliate uh, affiliation you guys can exchange trips directly from the database without um, you can put jobs directly on their system okay now with that uh, we've done with affiliates and statuses statuses is just dispatches uh, a lot of companies they use uh, I'll show you the dispatch grid our dispatch grid is empty right now there's nothing so as the calendar we don't have any jobs yet but we're gonna start creating some jobs and show you how things work so statuses uh, is just on the dispatch grid what colors and what would you like to call it um, it's self-explanatory here um, So, for example, uh, a pending reservation, you want to call it something else, you know, accepted, you want to call it 10 2, 10 5. Some companies work with 10 2, 10 5, 10 6, and all that. If you're not, you can keep it. But as, you know, by default, it's this these, these what you have. Okay, customer in the car, accepted by driver. You'll see that. It doesn't make sense now, but you will see it. Once we, we make some jobs, uh, next thing under settings is payment gateway if you want to accept cards directly from this system um, you can contact one of these companies and get a code for example authorize.net they will get you a code and once you do that um, that code get, you're gonna get from them uh, you'll be able to grab a reservation and charge it directly from this system okay instead of charging in the car or what have you you can charge it directly from the system uh, we can also help you with this if you have any questions and we can also help you with this it's not that complicated time limits if you say hey I don't want online reservation two hours uh, before uh, two hours let's say my pickup time it's 2 p.m. right now and I want to pick up at 2 30 the system will say no um, no you have to actually call or you know basically you won't allow it so you put how many hours here how many hours would you like some people like 24 hours I do not recommend this practice oh, let let the let people make reservations and then you can farm them out if, if you know if you can guide view link I'm gonna have a separate video for farm uh, guide view link this guide view link basically what it does is um, you can actually check your drivers just from here and once you click here a map will open up and you get to see drivers your drivers live in here I'm gonna get to it at the end of this video okay and next thing is email templates okay there is two emails that you need to change here uh, cancellation policy every confirmation you will be sending it will this email will be attached to it there is some sample text in here you gotta go to this text and change it to your policy um, it helps just in case of no shows and stuff like that that you post this stuff everywhere um, change it to your own policy and save and uh, the next thing that is important 
but we neglect it all the time. It's uh, airport instructions. Airport instructions, when I land in your airport, what should I do? Uh, a lot of companies don't really take that seriously, but here you can put, tell people what to do once they, uh, they land. Go to gate C, uh, call this number, your driver will be at baggage claim, or what have you. Whatever you guys do in your city, just post it in here, and every confirmation you send to the, cus to the customer will have these instructions linked to it. Okay. <clears throat> And this is a pretty cool thing also under email templates. Uh, the receipts, this receipt, you can't change it. Uh, it doesn't matter well, how much you try to change it, it's not going to change. It's just uh, once you charge somebody, uh, uh, it will get, the customer will get his receipt. It doesn't say anything, receipt and breakdown of the trip. Um, receipt message, this comes with your receipt email, let's say, you can ask people to review review you, for example. Uh, what I would do is here, please review us on Google Plus or Yelp, or you know, if you have any promotions or anything like that, I would definitely put it here. At the end of the service, they will get that. And hopefully they can put a nice review for you. And these are the links. The links that your company will have. Uh, first link, is company page link. This is for your account holders. When you ask people to open up an account, let's open up a quick account here. So this dynasty is gonna have this login. It says, welcome to dynasty limo, username, password. I do not have an account, so I'm gonna create one. Okay, <clears throat> so as an account, first name is, I'm a customer right now. My username is, John Smith. My email is info at johnsmith.com. Password is okay. My company is AT&T. This is a company they work for. It's just for your own, you know, just so you know they can my credit card. Okay, this is a fake credit card. Trust me, it won't buy you anything. Um, okay. So I'm gonna create an account as a, a customer now. Your account is added, log in here. Okay, I think uh, John Smith. All right, try to log in. Oh, I made a mistake somewhere. Try again. Okay. Now this is my profile as a Dynasty Limo uh, company. I can see my account. I can see my history. I can make a reservation through here. I can make an hourly reservation. So history, you can see you don't have any history. It's a brand new account. It's nothing. Um, Maybe we can go back to this page once we create some, some trips. Okay, let me, now, we're done with the settings. We're gonna go to a home, and you're in business, the first thing that happens, you're gonna get a phone call, somebody wants to, to make a reservation. Two kinds of people try to make reservation, just anonymous people, anybody that calls, which we're gonna do now. Uh-huh. And you know, Brian, somebody calls, says he wants to make a reservation, you start filling out this. Okay, cell phone. Okay, email. Go at Okay. Date. Uh, he wants tomorrow at 1 p.m. He wants to sit down. That's the only car you have. See, this form looks like the form number one for your customer, but it's not. In this form, you can skip stuff. Customers cannot, for example, skip credit cards. Okay? So, enter location. We'll do 500. Chicken Avenue. Airport. Going to RD. UA, one, two, three. Gratuity, 20%. He wants to pay credit card, cash, invoice. We can do credit card, but can leave this empty 
if he, he's not gonna give you a credit card on phone or the driver is gonna get paid for it so we're gonna submit this reserve oh we gotta calculate the price first so click calculate the price it tells you here pick up drop off blah 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 distance day and time Tuesday at 1 p.m. passenger one ninety dollars zero eighteen da, da, da. submit reservation now what happens to this reservation once I submit it, it whole, the whole reservation will open up. I can see the breakdown of my charges, pick up, drop off, I can see the customer's information. Now I have to send him a confirmation, so I'm going to click here, confirmation, and send an email. Now Brian Smith just got an email with his confirmation. Okay, you can taste, taste that, test that yourself later on. Okay, now we're going to go to Dispatch Grid. We can click on Calendar first. You're going to see that reservation is going to land on your calendar. It's tomorrow, 1 p.m. You see it? It's the only job we have so far. Uh, now, let's dispatch it. Okay, today we don't have anything. See, that's today. We're going to click this arrow. It's going to take us to tomorrow. Tomorrow we have one job. It's going from one, if I'm in North Michigan, going to O'Hare Airport, name, phone number. That's it. Let's select the driver. We're going to dispatch this job to a driver now. Tim Smith is our only driver. And look at, look at the bottom. We have the affiliate too. There is always drivers first, and there is this line, and there is your affiliates. So first thing is driver. And then we're going to select dispatched. We're going to dispatch it to him. Once we do that, a pop-up will show up saying, would you like to send driver information to the customer? Remember the driver information, what kind of car, what license plate you want, what his license plate, his phone number, and all that, his name. Uh, if you choose to send that to the customer, then click yes. The customer will get an email with all the driver information. If you say no, uh, then nothing will, well, the customer won't get anything. But the driver will get two things. The driver will get an email, and he will get also... Uh, uh, a text message with the, with the job. So here I'm going to send yeah, say yes to the customer. Now we changed, became green, and status is dispatched. Okay? So now we know that Tim Smith has the job, he's ready to go. Maybe Tim Smith will call us, say, hey, I got this 1 p.m., then you change it to accepted by driver. If you have a lot of dispatch, dispatches and a lot of jobs, you want to keep things under control, under a row. And then Tim Smith picks up this uh, Brian and just takes him to the airport. And then he tells you, hey, I'm clear. Then you mark it clear at destination. Good. Now, let's open up this. Every time, by the way, you see this number, that's the confirmation number. You click on it, the whole reservation will open up. Okay, everything will open. Uh, so, now from here, well, this reservation is complete. Would you like to charge it? We can do a payment. We can charge it here. Select payment, credit card, cash, invoice, card. Since we don't have a credit card on file and we don't have uh, a gateway service, yes, if you do credit card here, it says you don't have a gateway account. But if we do cash, for example, he paid cash, we can do proceed. Once you do proceed, the customer will get his receipt. Okay? And this will be marked as paid in cash. You can do invoices. Invoices are only for account holders only. Let's say... Uh, somebody wants to charge by the month. He's like, I'm going to give you jobs and every month you send me one invoice. You can do that. And under one condition, he has to have an account. You can't do it for uh, uh, random people like this example we're having right now. Credit card charged outside the system. For example, your driver has a square or has like a machine in the car and you just want to tell the system, hey, just charge this this." this this trip is being charged, don't worry about it. So we'll mark it credit card charge out outside the system. We put memo, Tim charged it on square. You can put anything. Okay, then proceed. Once I do that, the customer will get his receipt again. And this will stay as paid outside. We're good. Close that out. Now this reservation has been done. Now we're going to go to calendar. We still have it. It's there. It's weird. It's a bad example because this is supposed to be today, but I marked it as done for tomorrow. But you get the point. Uh, now, Tim calls again. Uh, not Tim. I'm sorry. Brian. 
He calls again a week later. He's like, hey, I need a ride back. Do you need to enter everything again? No, you don't. You just click here, you hit, you hit Brian, under search. And once you do that, boom, you get, you get the, his past reservation. And you can either copy it or round, tra tra round trip it. So in this case, he wants to go from the airport back to his house at 400 Michigan. All you have to do is round trip. Okay, here's the trip has been flipped. The amount is the same. Everything is good. We have to change the date. So he's coming next week, for example, the 18th at, let's say, 3 p.m. Flight number is going to be different. So we're going to change the flight number and we're going to save. And he's going to need his confirmation, correct? So we're going to send him a confirmation. And you are done with that reservation. It took probably like 10 seconds. So we're going to go back to the calendar to see it. And here it is on the 18th. So when the day comes, you get to dispatch it and um, move along with it. Now, let's say somebody from the account holder, some account holders call us and say, hey, I need to make a reservation. So you go to your accounts or better, you can click here and if you would like to play with the icons. I like the icons better. So account reservation and I can see the list of my accounts. They're ranked alphabetically from here, from A to Z. So we're going to do a reservation. And once you click here, everything is going to be pre-filled for you. See, it's all pre-filled. All you have to do, we forgot to put a cell phone, I think. Uh, cell phone didn't come with it, so. Okay, date. And his address, 500 North Michigan. I'm just using the same address. I'm used to it. Uh, UA123, 20%. Remember the credit card, it's already there that we entered for this account. Special instructions or requests. So calculate price. Here is his price, 112, submit. Mm, that's it. We're going to send him his confirmation and send an email. That's it. Okay, what date was that? 2-11. Let's click on our calendar. 2-11, it's right here. Let's just, so let's move that to today, for example, because I want to show you his history. Let's go to today and change it to today. 9 and 1 a.m., for example, and save. So I wanted to move it to today. Let's do a calendar. And it had moved to today. Let's dispatch it. There you go. Tim is the one. We're going to dispatch it to Tim. Would you like to send the driver information to the customer? Yes. He likes Tim, by the way. They have the same last name. And then Tim uh, calls us, say, we're clear. I'm accepted by driver and clear a destination. You don't have to follow this pattern, but clear a destination is very important uh, to have because um, we'll get to it later because uh, you have a lot of stuff you can do with clear destinations. Here are all the reservations that have been done, that have been done. You can click here and you get to see them all and you get to charge them and settle them. We're going to talk about settling in a, in a minute. So. <clears throat> Now, um, let's go back to uh, uh, our dispatch. Now, Mr. Smith has been dropped off. We're good. Let's charge him. Let's do, you can actually charge from here too. There's different ways you can charge uh, a client. So from here, we're going to select. We, don't, we can't do credit card right now. We don't have a gateway account. We're going to do, uh, again, we use Square. We're going to use credit card charge outside the system. Memo. Square, square, let's say 2-11-2015, proceed. Okay, good. Everything is good. Customer, he uh, got his email uh, receipt. We're good. Um, now we're going to settle it. Settling is, uh, we're going to split the money with the driver. By the way, you can do this here or you can go 
to uh, the smiley face that has the list of all cleared reservations. We have two so far. So we can settle this one. I don't know which one is we had one for the night, this one. So we're gonna settle it. Basically, we're gonna give the driver his money. It tells you everything here, it's how much we charge. See, it already pre-filled 40% from the driver settings we had. Gratuity was 18, so total driver is 54, settle. We're good. Now it's been settled. Now if you go to your reports, if you go to reports and look at settlements, let's say Tim, the driver, comes at the end of the week, is like, I need my money for the week of work. You just select the whole week. I think uh, let's do 8 to 14 and select the driver, Tim, and hit go. Now, this is the trip he's done for us, just one. And total driver is 54. So you might want to make him a check for $54 for this. Okay. If you want to see all drivers, you can hit all. If you can see like the whole year, you get to play with this report uh, all you want. Now, let's look on uh, 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 Brian, the account holder, I think. I think he was the account holder. Remember this guy, the account holder? He's going to log into his account and we're going to see this is his account. Okay, and then let's see his reservation history. Oh, this is his reservation history. Remember the one we, we settled? The 1 a.m., 500, okay? And let's say he never got his receipt. He can log into his own account and just click here and print his own receipt. You know, print it or email it or whatever. He can email it to himself if he wants to. Okay? If he has like 10 and he wants to print out you know, a report for his business, he can actually come here. He doesn't have to call you or anything. Uh, so uh, settlements, let's talk about settlements again. Settlements, he's just splitting the money with the driver and closing the, the, the trip. It's very important that to keep that closed, to close reservations, to take advantage of reports. These reports will only show you the closed reservations, okay? Not reservation process. So to do that, all your reservations have to be under this patch, have to be marked as a clear destination. Remember this uh, dispatched? Let's see, let's do I think the 11th. Okay, we don't have anything. Let's, let's look it up here. Uh, 1 p.m. is 3 p.m. Uh, it's the 18th. So, so make sure after, after each, each I mean, after a job and, and customer has been dropped off, mark it here as clear a destination very important once you do that you can close the reservation no reservation will be closed unless it has the status clear a destination so once you have that status all you have to do is go to the smiley face and all the clear the reservation that have been done will be listed here you can charge them and settle them you cannot settle before charging because settlement will, will close the reservation and reservation cannot be closed without being paid so first let's get it paid I know this is the future, it's not, a, it's not a good example, so we already charged this one. It shows you, so you don't double charge, it shows it's been charged. So let's settle it. It's a future reservation, it's a bad example, I apologize, uh, but you get the point. So again, base fare is 40, blah, 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 driver gets his $54, settle. Okay, done. Okay, that's how you settle reservations. Now, if you look at your calendar, you probably don't have anything there anymore. Uh, we have this one. Yeah, we haven't touched this one. We did this. Um, if you guys want to know how to do with this, let's let's try it. Let's do dispatch and go to the 18. Each reservation has to go through a pattern. It has to be dispatched and it has to be clear at destination. Two things are very important. Dispatch is clear destination. The other don't matter. So it's for your own organization. Uh, first, we're going to dispatch it. Yes. And then we're going to clear a destination. Once it's clear a destination, where is it going to show up? It's going to show up on the smiley face here. Complete a reservation. And we can charge the customer and deal 
charge it and settle it. So we're going to charge him. Once again, we don't have any, uh, we don't have a credit card system set up yet. So we'll do outside the system or let's do cash. Proceed. <coughs> okay. Now we close that. Now we settle it. Okay. Now in this case, uh, the customer has paid us in cash. So you may want to change this because uh, then you're going to be paying the driver. The driver already got the money, so you might want to adjust this uh, because now the driver owes you money. It's not the other way around. So, but anyway, we're going to leave it like that for now. We're going to settle. And now uh, the reservation has been closed. You don't have any reservation on your system. Okay. If you want to see your reports, let's go to reports, see how many reservations we've done this month. We're going to select here from the 1st till the 28th, all, go. And here are my reservations. Uh, my driver's cost is $162 and my total was $337. Gratuity and all that stuff, you can see it here. You can copy this and take it to an Excel sheet do whatever you want with it or there is actually a PDF you can see from here you can actually download it I recommend that you use I think my view is weird here um, uh, I recommend using PDFs just crack copy this and just uh, paste it on a, on an Excel and um, that's it now let me show you how to do the cool thing which is God view Okay, guide view, we're going to do it uh, this way. Uh, to have guide view, let's see what it says here. Under settings, we're going to go to guide view link. Okay, guide view link, it says here, please go to this website, register your company. This is our website, by the way, there is no charge. Create username and add driver. drivers, create a username and pass for each driver. Have your drivers download the iPhone app on duty, give them the username and password, once login, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so we're going to go to locatedriver.com. Oops, R. Okay, we're going to register here. Current email, I got a given real email that it's not on database already so let me think what email info okay yep uh-huh new limo company I'm gonna pick a password confirm password Company name, it's with Dynasty, right? Dynasty Limo. Contact, praise person is Tom. Country, United States. Address is, uh, the address is important because that's how the map is going to zoom into your city. So, one, two, three, North State, City, Chicago, and Illinois. Phone is... Uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Save. Okay, now they sent me an email. So I just have to open up my email. And then... Uh, and get the code from there. Okay, I got my code. I'm going to copy it. Let's see. Uh, paste. Validate. Okay, my account is now active. Okay, now let's go to home and log in. Email was info with world. Password, I think I picked this one. 
Okay, got view. Uh, first thing, we need to have uh, uh, add drivers. We're going to have to add a driver. So what's the email of the driver? Uh, we're going to put info at Tim. Was it Tim Smith, right? Smith.com. Add a driver. We're going to give him a password. You're going to have to create a password. Easy enough for, for you to hand it over to him. There's not, there's no, there's not a lot of you know, secure information in here. It's nothing really. So, one, two, three, four, five. Give us the remote driver's name. We're going to do Tim. He drives a sedan, color black. License plate is one, two, three, four, five. His address, we already need it. His zip code, his phone number is one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I think too many numbers in here. Now, we did Tim. Got to copy this email. Copy info at timsmith.com. Just got to remember it. Save. Okay. Now, here's my guide view thing in here. If I click here, it's going to show me. Uh, let me copy this. This is my company guide view. I get to see the map. That's okay. We're going to move this map to uh, the other website. And home, we're going to get the link. Oh, this is how you get your link. I'm sorry. You grab this link right here. Command C. Then we're going to go to uh, uh, your World Limo Biz software. We're going to go to settings. Okay. And then we're going to go to God View link. Okay, and then we're going to paste it in here. Command V and save. Now at least we're going to have a map. So if we click guide view now, you're going to have at least the map. It's an empty map, but it's a good start. So the map is showing. Now I'm going to tell my driver, uh, Tim, you got to download this app. This is the logo of the app. So you gotta look for this uh, app on the Android or or, uh, or the Apple Store. That's the logo. So I already have it downloaded, and your driver will have uh, that link. So what we're gonna do is we have drivers here. These are my drivers. So this is the link for your driver. You're gonna grab this. Command C. Let me copy that and we take it again to drivers settings and we're going to go to drivers and we're going to put it in here. Edit and we're going to put GPS link right here and save. Now need, we need the driver now to uh, to download the app and enter his uh, his information. So let me go to the app. I already downloaded the app. Um, and I'm going to put that email, which is info at Tim Smith. Dot com. And the password, I think I made it simple. One, two, three. Not again. Okay, now I am online on my app, which is good. Now we're going to go to uh, your system. This is your system, and you want to check out where Tim is. You just. And here the map will open up, and you get to see your driver right here. <clears throat> you get to see his exact location and when he starts moving you can actually see him moving as well if you hover over him you get to see his information it's his name his phone number what he's uh, what kind of car license plate phone number and such okay so that's how you set up uh, god view now in your account if you want to 
change anything on your account you go over here on top and you click my account for example you want to change the name of your company from dynasty limo to something else you want to change the uh, the phone number where you want to get your notifications you can change that here your credit card on file you can change that here uh, basically everything your website I'm gonna change your password uh, everything works from here now I'm gonna show you how to make an invoice um, some people don't like to be charged well they prefer to have an invoice for all their trips let's say they have 10 or 15 trips and they want to receive one invoice so they can take care of it so uh, there's there are three conditions to have uh, to create an invoice Condition number one is the person has to have an account. It cannot be just anybody that's older. Number two, um, the reservation has to be paid and uh, as an invoice, and also it has to be settled. So this is how it works. So we're going to, I think we have an account. Here's an account. We have a John Smith. We're going to make a reservation quick, and we're going to close it as an invoice. So... We'll do a reservation today. Okay. Okay. So submit reservation. So we have an account holder that has a reservation. So let's dispatch it, dispatch it, and uh, so Tim is going to be the only guy dispatched, yes. Okay, Tim calls, he said it's over, he dropped him off, clear a destination. We're going to go to the smiley face where all the, all the complete reservations are. We're going to have that one reservation there. Condition number one is the... Uh, Mr. Smith has to have an account. Condition number two, paid and settled. Paid as an invoice. So we're going to go here. We're going to make market as paid, payment method invoice. Okay, proceed. Okay. Now, next thing is, uh, next condition is settled. Reservation has to be settled. So it has to be closed. So drivers get their money, drivers get 40%, tip, blah, 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 it's settled, done. Okay. Perfect. Now let's go create an invoice for Mr. Smith. We're going to go to reports, create invoice. Okay. So here is a trip. If you had like 10 trips, uh, they're all settled as an invoice, you're going to see them here. And you can select which ones you want to create them in one invoice. And here we only have one trip so we're going to create select it and create invoice here is the invoice see we never put the address if we had the address in the account it would show let's see if i can take care of that <clears throat> okay edit address is one two three Okay, and phone number. Okay, now let's go back to that invoice, see if the address is there. Create an invoice. And we're going to select it. Create an invoice. There we go. Invoice for Mr. Smith. And we're going to save it. We like this invoice. Now here you can save an email. We can do save an email directly or we can print it. So let's just do save. It was saved successfully. Perfect. Now a week later, for example, Mr. Smith is going to call. He's like said, here's I'm sending you a check or here's my credit card. You go to your, uh, you go to your reports and you go to pending. Since you already created it, now it becomes pending, pending payments. So pending invoices, we have one invoice, it's invoice number 316, you can take a look at it. 
all right yeah I remember all this perfect then you close it and you receive payment same box like we have it open up it has credit card cash or bank check so basically however you're like if he's gonna pay by credit card same thing uh, cash or you get the point uh, that's it now uh, if you get in a, a reservation for example he goes and says uh, no I just uh, I want to add another reservation to it so you go to reservations it's a bad example but you can uh, if you have let's say you close in the invoice but he made he made a different reservation so let me create a quick reservation and we're gonna add it to that invoice that he already created so we're gonna go here go into ORG again Okay. Perfect. Submit. Okay, this is you doing this as an admin. So perfect. Let's go to dispatch it. I'm gonna show you a cool trick also on, on the dispatch grid. Every time you see a flight number, uh, actually the address here, you can click on it, it will tell you, it will show you where the address is in case you get lost um, uh, also a flight if it's an origination uh, if the flight is the origin it will actually give you a let me show you something here I'm gonna change this to also an airport change this uh, pick up to an airport it doesn't matter just follow me uh, so here we're going to click on the flight number here you click anytime you see a flight number from the pickup line you click on it it will open up a flight tracker for you it says here on time it's landed at 1 p.m. it's coming from London Heathrow uh, no, it's from DC going with on time. Anyway, you get the point. So you don't have to go searched and digging for that flight. Uh, all right, let's close this, dispatch it. And let's clear destination. Again, to create an invoice, three conditions. The owner, it has to be an account holder. Number two, paid as an invoice. Three, settled. So we're gonna go to our smiley face to close that reservation. Okay, we're gonna do payment as an invoice. Proceed. I close that, and then we're gonna settle it. We pay the drivers. Okay, everything checks out good, good. Let's settle it. Okay, close that. Now we're gonna go to the invoice report, create invoice. So we're looking at this invoice, and we're gonna select here and click add it to add to existing invoice because we want to add it to the other one. So add to existing invoice. It's gonna tell you which one. We only have one. We're gonna select this one and save. So this added successfully. Good. Okay. Now let's go to pending invoices. It's invoice number 316. We'll open it up. It's got all two reservations in there. Total is 275. Perfect. We can email it back again to Mr. Smith. He'll be happy. And or we can print it for our own record. When uh, and you can actually remove uh, trips also as well. But you can play with this uh, any way you want. Then Mr. Smith calls us, he wants to pay, and he wants to pay bank check, name of the bank, these are for your own. 
info check number one two three it stays with you this information and that's it now this this invoice has been closed and now pending invoices you're not gonna have anything it actually moved to pa paid invoices now paid invoices you have one you can go back to it at any time for your own history uh, that is it um, if there is anything else I, I do not see anything else we're always doing updates and and adding new features but feel free to call us anytime if you have any questions and that concludes this demo thank you very much for listening